Senator Lindsey Graham, Republican of South Carolina, said the United States should punish Russia until it ceases and desists meddling in the U.S. Electoral process creditor and chef for the New York Times Washington, for much of the past year, as President Trump has belittled NATO, sought warmer relations with the Kremlin and questioned his own intelligence services about Russia's election interference campaign, Congress's response has been little more than rhetorical. A bipartisan group of influential senators is proposing to change that. Led by Senator Bob Menendez, Democrat of New Jersey, and Senator Lindsey Graham, Republican of South Carolina, the group introduced legislation late on Wednesday to impose crushing new punishments on President Vladimir V. Putin of Russia and his associates. The bill would also cut off Mr. Trump's ability to remove the United States from the North Atlantic Treaty Organization without the support of the Senate and write into law new international deterrence programs meant to serve as a government-wide response to Russian aggression. Legislation, which counts Senator John McCain, Republican of Arizona, and three prominent Democrats among its supporters, is one of the biggest efforts to date by Congress to wrestle back some authority to shape foreign policy. Its authors said senators from both parties were already asking to sponsor the measure. Whether it could actually become law is another question. Republican leaders on Capitol Hill have been averse to intervening too aggressively in Mr. Trump's decisions. The House's month-long recess, a booked legislative agenda for the fall and the impending midterm elections will certainly not help. And there are other sanctions already under consideration. The most frequently discussed, a measure written by Senator Marco Rubio, Republican of Florida, and Senator Chris Van Hollen, Democrat of Maryland, would in essence put Russia on notice, threatening it with broad-based economic sanctions if it carried out an attack on November's midterms. On Thursday, top national security officials made a rare appearance at a White House news briefing where they described an active campaign by Russia to influence and disrupt the midterm elections. The officials, including the Director of National Intelligence and the heads of the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security, said Russia tried to interfere in the last election and that it was working to undermine this false vote, as well, we acknowledge the threat. It is real. It is continuing, said Dan Coates, the Director of National Intelligence. We are doing everything we can to have a legitimate election that everyone can have trust in, Mr. Graham and his co-sponsors argue that Russia has already crossed a dangerous threshold. One need look no further than reports in recent days that at least one Democratic senator up for re-election was targeted by Russian hackers last year and that Facebook has identified a sophisticated new influence operation on its networks reminiscent of the one carried out by Russians in 2016. The current sanctions regime has failed to deter Russia from meddling in the upcoming 2018 midterm elections, said Mr. Graham, one of the Senate's leading Russia critics. Our goal is to change the status quo and impose crushing sanctions and other measures against Putin's Russia until he ceases and desists meddling in the U.S. Electoral process halts cyber attacks on U.S. Infrastructure removes Russia from Ukraine and ceases efforts to create chaos in Syria. The Republican-led Congress passed a package of withering sanctions targeting Russia a year ago, in part to punish its 2016 efforts. But a debate over how to amp up pressure has blossomed anew in recent weeks, as lawmakers have grappled with new disclosures about continued Russian activity and Mr. Trump's widely panned meeting last month with Mr. Putin in Helsinki, Finland. M.R. Trump spent the days leading up to the meeting bashing the Atlantic Alliance, which is committed to counteracting Russia's influence. Once there, he appeared to accept Mr. Putin's denials that Russia did not interfere in 2016 and cast doubt on American intelligence agencies' findings on the matter. Many Republicans, long uncomfortable with the president's forgiving stance toward Russia, condemned Mr. Trump's performance but have been unwilling or unable to take direct action. The possibility of additional sanctions appears to be an exception. Senator Mitch McConnell of Kentucky, the typically reserved majority leader, called out Mr. 
Rubio's bill by name last month and asked the Senate Banking and Foreign Relations Committees to hold hearings on Russia and the imposing of sanctions already on the books. Those hearings are underway, though Democrats fret that Mr. McConnell may not have any intention of actually pushing through legislation. Still, the senator's argument for tough immediate action received an added boost this week, when Facebook disclosed that it had detected and tried to disrupt a sophisticated influence campaign on its network sowing discord ahead of November's elections. Though the company said it was unable to definitively attribute the activity to Russia, the tactics bore a striking resemblance to those used around the 2016 election. And some of the accounts interacted with accounts known to be operated by the Internet Research Agency, the Kremlin Link Group that was at the center of an indictment related to earlier interference. Senator Claire McCaskill, Democrat of Missouri, also confirmed a Daily Beast report that her office was unsuccessfully targeted by Russian hackers last year. American intelligence officials have indicated that she is not alone, but no other officer candidate has been publicly identified. The sanctions package is intended to mount pressure on Russia to stop such activity. It includes a long list of provisions meant to embarrass Mr. Putin, cripple his allies financially and create new criminal vulnerabilities for Russia and other nations participating in cyber attacks. It would mandate that the United States assemble a report on Mr. Putin's finances and assets, a move long advocated by Russia hawks who believe it would expose the extent of any financial crimes committed by Mr. Putin. And it penalizes projects involving Russian sovereign debt and state-owned energy companies, a move that some Republicans, including in the Trump administration, fear could wreak havoc across global markets. The package also includes a provision, written by Senator Cory Gardner, Republican of Colorado, that would require the State Department to determine whether Russia should be designated a state sponsor of terrorism. Mr. Menendez, the top Democrat on the Foreign Relations Committee, said it would fill a void left by Mr. Trump for a clear, government-wide response to Mr. Putin's efforts, Putin's aggressing will be met with consequences that will shake the regime to its foundation, Mr. Menendez said in an interview. And that is the only thing Putin understands. 